these are totally natural. Hey Cheap Bitches, I'm Rob and this is On The Cheap Tip and for today's Thurs DIY, we're going to be doing another Does this really work? Because you like to know. You like to see me try before you try and you like to see me in pain. I understand. Now some of you guys know that I did some videos with derma rolling. I derma rolled my face to get rid of wrinkles and scars. I derma rolled my hair to make it grow back thicker. And if you haven't seen any of those videos, you can click above or in the description box below and find out how I do that. But today's video is going to be derma rolling something else. Our lips. This is something I did not know that you could do. But a friend of mine told me that you could actually do this. It helps to plump up the lips. It helps to get rid of any of those wrinkles that you might have. Basically, everyone wants to have bigger, fuller lips like Kylie Jenner. I don't necessarily want to look like that, but a lot of people do. <laughs> I already have pretty big lips, but I do worry about some of the lines that might be happening from like sipping from straws and, you know, sucking No, I'm just kidding. Oh my God. I don't know if that's going to make it on here. <laughs> anyway, I digress. So today for the first time, I'm going to derma roll my lips and tell you my whole experience, I guess. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is get a derma roller. Now you can get pretty much any size if you're doing this for the first time, I would do a 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0.05, something like that. I don't remember. I'm starting out with a 1.5. This is actually a bigger one than I think you would normally use for lips, but I have big lips and I want them to be penetrated. The second thing you want to do is make sure that you sterilize this with alcohol. Even if this is new, do not trust that this is clean. You don't know what kind of warehouse or where it's been stored or like anthrax that was put on us. Clean it well. Once you sterilize this, you're going to let it dry completely because you don't want to be poking holes into your skin with alcohol because that burns. As that is drying, you want to make sure that you clean off your lips. You want no makeup, no chapstick, no nothing on your lips. I would recommend going in with a little bit of warm water. I would even say use a little bit of witch hazel just to get anything else off. Maybe a makeup remover. You actually want them to be as clean as possible without them being super dry. Once you are all done with that, you are ready to derma roll your lips. <laughs> I'm a little scared. I mean, this hurts on your face, so I'm a little worried that it's gonna really hurt on my lips. I'm not a little bit worried, I'm really worried about that. <laughs> all right, let's focus you guys in a little bit. Oh, this is a beauty shot. So you're first gonna start by rolling it sideways multiple times. So I just kinda like make my lips a little taut. Ah, there's no, no, no. Oh, you hear it though. Yeah, that wasn't that bad, guys. Then we're gonna do the same with the top lip. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Okay, the top one oh, hurts a little bit more. <laughs> The top one wasn't as successful as the bottom one. I guess it's because I have like that big Angelina Jolie lip on the bottom. Oh, big lip people problems. Lips feel a little raw, I would say. I feel them tingling. Is that normal? <laughs> the next thing you want to do is go up and down. This is hard. Oh, I just hit my tooth. Don't hit your teeth, people. This is very expensive dental work here, okay? And then lastly, you want to go diagonally. Oh. Ooh, I feel like I just did something to my lips. They do look a little bit more plumpy, no? Is it just me? Now after you're done, it's very important to moisturize and protect your lips because they are going to be feeling very raw and they're going to be extremely sensitive to your elements. I recommend using a natural balm that has vitamin E and maybe aloe in it. I'm actually going to mix my own aloe and vitamin E and then just cut it on that. And there you go. Big luscious lips. They do look big. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, they look big. Overall, I would give this a thumbs up. It does not hurt that much. And it seems like it's something that with continued use that my lips would get a little more fuller. And I can see how it would get rid of the wrinkles because it's helping to put little breaks in the skin and circulate the blood to that area to help repair it. I could definitely see myself using this uh, continually. I'm just gonna be robbed with the sexy lips. <laughs> anyway, that's my whole tip and I hope that you liked it. And if you did, make sure that you comment down below and let me know. And also make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that alarm button so you know when my next video goes live. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Yes. Yes, baby. Now, whoa! <clears throat> for 
uh, uh, maybe. Oh, I should pull back a little bit. A little close. Better overall lippage. I don't know. I have big lips and I want them to be penetrated. I want a lot of things to be penetrated on me, but let's get back. So, <laughs> did that scare you? Good.